Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Liz. Um, I am Beauty and Bounty and today's video is just going to be a rundown of like recommendations for the Sephora VIB sale. Um, I think that, you know, most people should pick up kind of staples of like hair care and skincare that they always use and um, I have a few unsung heroes that I want to talk about that I, I think some people would really like but don't really get talked about that often and then I thought I'd run through a few things that I plan on picking up for the sale. Before we get into this video go ahead and subscribe to my channel. There should be a button like right here within the video that you can click to subscribe and it won't navigate you away from this page at all. Um, that will help other people find me and you won't miss any more of my future videos and we can hang out and be friends. So let's talk about some of my recommendations. Um, so for my first category is kind of like staples, like skincare. You're gonna buy skincare Anyway, might as well pick it up while you can get it with a discount. Drunk Elephant C Firma. It is a morning vitamin C serum. I've tried kind of a handful of vitamin C's and I still come back to this one. Um, it has it has alexorbic acid, which is the most potent form of vitamin C for like stimulating collagen. So uh, it's really good in anti-aging. Um, there are other forms of vitamin C that are kind of better for acne and things like that. I find that this helps me all around and I can honestly say like when I switch from it and go back to it, like when I go and switch and use up a whole bottle of something else and then come back to this one, I honestly notice my skin change when I've come back to this one. This is the third bottle I've had and I've kind of uh, stepped out behind its back between each and every bottle. And like, I hate to admit it, I already know my next vitamin C I'm going to try it, and who knows if I'll even like it. I will probably still come back to C Firma after that. Uh, would be acids. I think everyone can benefit from acid exfoliation rather than physical exfoliation. Things like AHAs and BHAs, um, alpha hydroxy acids and beta hydroxy acids can help. It breaks up the bonds between your dead skin and your face skin. <laughs> Words. I think I had the same problem last time I tried explaining that. Uh, so it exfoliates and sloughs off all your dead skin without being gritty and like scrubbing it off. Um, ones I like at Sephora are the Ordinary Glycolic. Now that the Ordinary is there, I think that's a pretty gentle one anyone can use. Um, Ren just came out with a new one and it's a daily exfoliating toner. That one's really gentle, I think everyone can use. If you've been using acids for a hot minute and you want to like step out and try something new, um, Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Peels, they have a few different strengths so you could kind of like click around and see which one works best for you. I don't have any right now because I'm out of it and all of my other acids are downstairs because I'm poor at planning. Um, but I plan on picking up some more Alpha Beta because they're they're strong, they're fantastic, and they're a two-step which I think is really uh, unique and it's not something else I have in my skincare. Um, another thing I think everyone could stand to use is the uh, Belief True Moisturizing Balm. Belief has quickly become over the past year uh, my favorite brand for moisturizers. I really like their Moisturizing and Firming Eye Cream. That one was fantastic throughout the winter when my eyes were like slowly dying. Um, but this moisturizing, true cream moisturizing balm. I think the Aqua Balm got a lot of hype when it first came out, uh, but this moisturizing balm is, is really good and it's really lightweight and it's very hydrating. Um, I think maybe if you're oily, it would be a little too heavy for you. And it's a great price. This 50 mils, I think it was like $30, which is a fantastic for a higher end skincare, moistur skincare moisturizer. You know what I mean. Um, next in my recommendations, I think is like well suited to anyone in hair care is the Olaplex number three. Now that that's at Sephora, I think this is fantastic if you color your hair or do any sort of processing to your hair. It's a bond repairer, bond strengthener, so it will actually help repair your hair. Uh, unlike some, you know, I use hair repair products across the board, but at least this one I know works and does it in a unique way than any other products I use can. So I think that's fantastic. And the next one is this um, Kristoff Robin. It's a moisturizing cream. Moisturizing hair cream. 
and I think this is, I love this. It's, uh, it has a really masculine scent, so, um, you know, I think everyone could use it, but it doesn't hang around very long. Um, but I really like this because it's silicone free and, um, it's a really good finishing product instead of constantly like piling oils in my hair, which I don't have a problem with oils. My hair's dry. They're fine. But I feel like this, um, just, it feels a little bit better in my hair. And so I, I really like it. It's silicone free, which is important to me. It's sulfate free. Um, I've tried a lot of Christoph Robin's things and they're like, they're well worth the price to be honest. Next on my list is an empty box. Uh, these are the Velour Lashes in Would I Lie from their Effortless line. And I was going to say, pick them up this for a VIB sale because they're wonderful. They really are effortless. They're a shorter lash, so you don't have to trim them. Um, they're an invisible band, but they're like not a really thin, flimsy invisible band. And they also... You can't see that that's an invisible band, especially with this pair. There's enough lashes on it that, like, you have a solid line. Like, the whole band is covered, but it's not thick at all, and you really can get away without uh, wearing eyeliner. I think the biggest issue where I have with, like, not wearing eyeliner is right here, where the lashes stop, and, um you know, where the false lashes stop and your lashes begin. I don't think that looks at all and these ones are beautiful they're they're wispy and fluttery and um but they're not heavy and they are really comfortable to wear and I find them really easy to put on um so I was gonna say pick them up at the Sephora VIB sale but if you're watching this in real time ish uh Velour is having their own spring sale for 20% off which is a better deal than Sephora even if you're rouge so I would go ahead and try to pick up these at uh, Velour Spring Sale because you could save even more on them. Um, I plan on looking at a few more from their efforts at list line because this one was really beautiful. I really do like them. So for a few unsung heroes, these are kind of more geared towards very fair skin just because I really appreciated being able to find them. This is the Bare Minerals All Over Face Color in Faux Tan. And this is one of the few bronzers I've ever found that's like a true bronzer, um, but that looks fantastic on my skin. And it is horrifying in the cap, like that's dark. But it looks, it looks beautiful. And it really does just give a natural faux tan. And I, I had never found a product that works as well for me on my fair skin tone because I'm pretty picky. Um, next is the Hourglass uh, Ambient Lighting Blush in Ethereal Glow, and I don't think many people talk about this, and it's probably because it is so fair, but it looks it, it looks beautiful on really fair skin, um, and so I think anyone is worth checking it out, but I don't know that it gets much hype because it is very specific to, I think, very fair skin tones. Um, but I really enjoy it. Um, another thing that I would recommend that I think absolutely anyone could use, I have a chunk taken out of mine, so don't judge me, is the RMS, RMS Living Luminizer. This thing is beautiful, and I think if you don't wear makeup, this is something you could use. If you wear a shit ton of makeup, this is something you can use. It really, people talk about, like, giving you a glow from within. This straight up gives you a glow from within. It's, it's beautiful, and it's, indetectable on the skin and I don't think enough people talk about it. I think that's everything I want to talk about. I have a notebook. Crazy lady book is what I call it. One thing I plan on picking up is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. I recently got the Sol de Janeiro body scrub and it smells amazing. It scrubs really well too but it smells fantastic and I kind of reached out onto the internet. It turns out that's how everything from them smells, so I plan on picking up some of the Bum Bum Cream because I never got on that train the first time around. And some of my staples that I plan on picking up are the Shiseido Facial Cottons. They're 10 bucks for 165 sheets. Um, I took a page out of 
uh, SF Steph's book and cut them in half so they last even longer. And they are really, it's almost so stupid to like a specific facial cotton for like your toners. They are really good. They are totally 100% worth a try. And I, I don't know, you spend 10 bucks twice a year. It's It doesn't seem that ridiculous to me. Um, I plan on getting another moisture surge. Right now I'm using the Intense, but I think they discontinued the Intense when they're rolling out a 72 hour. This is Clinique Moisture Surge. Um, so I'm gonna pick up their 72 hour and give that one a try because I'm almost out of my Moisture Surge Intense. I'm gonna pick up the Visart uh, Pro 2 palette. They're little mini palettes uh, with eight shades and they are pretty small pans, but that doesn't bother me. Um, I'm mostly picking up, is my brightness even up? It is. Okay. I'm mostly picking it up for this pink shade right here. I had been thinking about getting the Just Peachy mattes and then like reading reviews, it was the pink shade that drew my eye to it. But reading reviews, that one was really disappointing. And so when I saw Visart roll out this Pro 2 palette and it had that hot pink shade, I would like it. So that's on my list. Mom? Mom? Yes, Quigs. Ghost Bunny came again. I have a two-year-old and uh, we did not teach him about Easter Bunny. We taught him about the Ghost Bunny because he didn't understand what Easter was, but ghosts he gets. I plan on picking up the Guerlain Multi-Perfecting Concealer. It doesn't have a ton of reviews, but uh, I don't know. I like trying new concealers. I have pretty intense under eyes and I'm always down to find something new to cover them up. And then I think that is, oh, I'm on this little bender of revisiting old favorites. Like today on my face, I used the MAC Mineralized Foundation and I used this, I don't know, six years ago and I decided to revisit it. I picked up Tandé Chanel recently because I decided to revisit it. So like on that same train, I'm gonna pick up the Bobbi Brown under eye corrector because um, that was actually one of the first under eye correctors I ever used 10 years ago. Um, and I haven't tested it out since I used up that first one. So I'm gonna pick that up and give it another try. I don't, I don't really know what's gotten into me. That makes me wanna revisit old things that I used to really like, but that's the journey I'm on. So. I think that's it for this video. Um, I hope you found it helpful. I think kind of the takeaways are, you know, stack up on staples that you know you're gonna love when it comes to like skincare and hair care or even makeup if you use the same foundation every time um, or something like that. You know, these effortless lashes, I could not recommend more, but maybe try to pick them up during their sale because all right, that is it for this video. My name is Liz. I am Beauty and Bounty everywhere on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Vero, and Reddit. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you can catch all of my future videos. Uh, give this a thumbs up if you liked it, and I will see you guys in the next one.